What is up and welcome back to Viral Ed where we create the best educational content on the planet. Don't forget to share our videos on social media, whether that be Facebook or YouTube. And most importantly, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn that notification bell on. Today we are going to look at triangles. And more importantly, the method to working out the length of a side in a right angle triangle. As you can see, we have a right angle triangle. We know this because the angle inside where the line A and B meet is 90 degrees. About 2,500 years ago, a Greek mathematician named Pythagoras, I know what a weird name, discovered a special relationship between the sides of a right angle triangle. Let's look at some technical language to help us as we move through the process of learning Pythagoras. We usually mark the sides connecting to form the right angle A and B. The side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse and is often labelled C. Pythagoras realised that if you have a right angle triangle and you square the lengths of the sides that make up the right angle, A and B, and add them together, you get the same number you would get by squaring the other side, the hypotenuse. If we look at the example, A and B are 3 and 4 respectively. If we square 3 and 4 and add them together, we get 25. And if we square the hypotenuse, which is 5, we also get 25. This method is the same for any right angle triangle. Let's look at another example. If the two sides, A and B, are 8 and 6, and the hypotenuse is 10, 6 squared plus 8 squared is 100, and the hypotenuse squared is also 100. This relationship is called the Pythagoras Theorem, and is represented by the formula A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, now that we know the formula and understand the different parts of a right angle triangle, we can start getting into some more fun and complex examples. Problem one, find the length of the diagonal of the rectangle. One side is 15 centimeters and the other is eight centimeters. We then know the diagonal line is the hypotenuse. Now we use the same steps as previously, eight squared plus 15 squared equals C squared. If we expand, we are left with 289 equals C squared. If we square root both sides, we are left with 17. Therefore, the length of the diagonal line of the rectangle is 17 centimetres. Problem two. If you leave your house and drive 48 kilometres west and then turn left heading south for another 36 kilometres, how far are you from where you started? Without Pythagoras' theorem, this problem would be hard and complex to solve. Instead, we are able to say that the distance between your start and finish point is the C, or the hypotenuse. Let's first start by drawing out the triangle. So you leave your house and drive west 48 kilometers. You then turn left, heading south for 36 kilometers. Now we want to find the distance between where you stopped and your house. If we go back to the formula, we can substitute 48 into A, 36 into B, and we need to find C. So we're left with 48 squared plus 36 squared equals C squared. If we expand the equation, we are left with 3,600 equals C squared. We square root each side, which leaves us with 60. Therefore, you are 60 kilometers from your house. Let's look at a problem where we know the hypotenuse and therefore can use this information to find the length of either the A or B side. Problem three, a ladder leans against the second story window of a house. If the ladder is 25 meters long and the base of the ladder is seven meters from the house, how high is the second window? First, we will draw the diagram showing the sides of the right angle triangle. The hypotenuse is 25 meters and we will label the bottom line A, which is seven meters. Therefore, we need to footwork out line B. If we look at the formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, we now just need to substitute the values into the formula. And that leaves us with seven squared plus B squared equals 25 squared. B squared equals 576 and therefore B equals 24 meters. Therefore, the distance from the ground to the window is 24 meters. 
A quick summary, the Pythagoras theorem is to work out the length of the triangle's sides of a right angled triangle. The formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You must have two sides of the triangle known to be able to work out the other using the formula. And no matter what two lines you know, you can work out the other one. So if we know a and b, we can work out c. If we know c and a, we can work out b. If we know C and B, we can work out line A. So that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you like the video, to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and check out any other videos on this channel. Other than that, have an awesome day, and I will see you next video.